Hello everyone, my name's Frank and I'm joined today by my very special friend, Megan. And this is Rosie the Otter. Merry Christmas everyone! And my name is Olivia. And my name is Ailey. And today we're going to read a really special Christmas story, Marvin and Marigold, A Christmas Surprise. It's a very, very special story about Marvin and Marigold, who are two little mice. Are you ready to go, Zaley? Yep. Okay, let's get started. So on the 1st of December, Marigold Mouse found a rather large box at the front of her house. The box had a special note on it. It was addressed to Miss Marigold Mouse, Bustleton Road, Mouseville, and the sender was Mrs. M. Mouse Senior. What could this be? She wondered out loud as branches and baubles fell out on the ground. Oh my! Making a big mess. It's a huge mess. A Christmas tree. Yeah, Marigold Mouse dancing with joy as she ran around her house. On top of the box was a tinsel-wrapped note, handwritten in ink, the way people once wrote. Marigold sat down to read what it said. To my darling Marigold, inside this box are some things I hold dear that I place on the Christmas tree every year. You'll find us all sorts of treasures and trinkets inside. When you put up the tree, please hang them up with pride. There's Grandma's old thimble and Bethlehem star, Aunt Mabel's gold charm with a, a silver guitar, and a tattered archangel from our very first tree that your great-grandmother passed down to me. My favourite of all are the old Christmas lights that twinkle and twirl as they shine through the night. Now here is my Christmas wish for you, dear. Please add something new to your tree every year. Love, Mother. XXXOOO. What a great letter. Then looking outside, he saw Marvin next door, sitting alone with a sock on his paw. So she called up his number on her little mouse phone. It's Christmas time, Marvin. Don't spend it alone. But I don't have a tree in my little mouse house and no presents to give. Sobbed Marvin the mouse. Don't worry Marvin, I have some gifts you can share, like a red Christmas balls that twirl in the air. Then Marigold whispered as soft as can be. My mother has sent me a new Christmas tree. Come over and help decorate it with me. Can I? Asked Marvin with tears in his eyes, smiling at Marigold's Christmas surprise. So Marvin walked over through Marigold's gate with some biscuits and cheese on a porcelain plate. Then they carefully unpacked the tree from the box and inside they discovered a pair of red socks. Let's have a sock each, said Marigold Mouse. You can hang one somewhere in your little mouse house. Oh my, gasped Marigold. There are so many things. Look, my snow fairies with gossamer wings and the funny old Santa hat who laughs as he sings. They found all sorts of trinkets that sparkled and spangled, twinkled and twirled and jingled and jangled. Each one held a memory as special as can be and each one was placed carefully on the tree. What's this? asked Marvin unwrapping a box that was marked with a kiss, a star and a cross. That's my cross-stitched elf hat and a tiny toy car and a small wooden duck hand carved by my pa. Marigold unwrapped a box of her own covered in bubble wrap, tinsel and foam. She found sunbursts and snowflakes with tassels all tangled and bright bells and baubles that dingled and dangled. Six paper cranes, all symbols of peace with shepherds and sheep made from old corks and fleece. Three wise men in a nativity scene and babushka dolls painted in red, gold and green. Then Marvin added some candy cane sticks. Yum. Yeah, I love candy canes. Yeah, me too. And red and green candles that had wax-coated wicks. Lastly, they placed the star at the top. 
It was time for some tea and they both had to stop. Marvin and Marigold sat down for a rest, smiling with pride at the tree they had dressed. They nibbled on cheese as the Christmas balls twirled, gold tinsel glittered and paper cranes swirled. Then when the sun set, the tree sparkled with light and bright bells and baubles lit up the night. And that is the end of the story. We wish you a very Merry Christmas filled with fun and laughter and joy. To all the kids in hospital and everyone watching, have a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, everyone. Have a fantastic holiday. Take care of each other. Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas, everyone. everyone.